presentation is Good Performance and Carcass Yield of Boiler Chickens Fed Protease Supplemented Diets. The study was conducted jointly between JFO and Bangladesh Agriculture University of Bangladesh. So let us touch some of the background information of the study. As we know, in animal husbandry, the major cost of production is feed. It's between 50 and 70 percent, depending on where we are, which country or which region. And of the feed, the major cost is proteins and amino acids, which is approximately between 30 and 40 percent of the total feed cost. And it can be more with the rising raw material cost worldwide. There was a survey conducted by World Global Media this year. And in that survey, 92% of the respondents mentioned that they expect an increase in the raw material cost in the upcoming months. So the issue is how we can reduce the cost of feed production uh, by uh, utilizing more nutrients from the from the raw existing raw materials. And as protein is the major cost, which you mentioned 30 to 40 percent of the total feed cost, if we can increase the utilization of proteins and amino acids from the feed, we can reduce the feed cost significantly. This is the hypothesis for this study. And to in, in, increase the utilization of proteins and amino acids, one of the uh, ways to use enzymes, uh, specifically protease enzymes. So what are the different types of protein enzymes? They can be classified by their pH optimum, acidic, neutral, or alkaline uh, protease. And among the alkaline protease, there are trypsin-like, chemotrypsin-like, and elastase-like. It is worth to, to mention that most of the protease enzymes in the market are alkaline protease enzymes, but there are some other enzymes which are also, say, multi-component or multi-component, uh, multi-pH enzymes, which contains all three acid, neutral, and alkaline proteases. So broadly, in terms of the enzymes which, which are available in the market, they can be divided into two, uh, monocomponent and multi-component. Monocomponent alkaline proteases are where uh, one component, uh, could be trypsin, could be chemotrypsin, is more than 50% of the product. Multi-component, as I mentioned, multi-pH has all three acid, neutral, and alkaline. There's, there are also multi-component alkaline proteases, whereas uh, none of the, uh, the components, uh, alkaline protease components, are more than 50%. This is one example. In this study, we will be using a multi-component alkaline protease. Okay? And as you can see in this, uh, in this slide, that uh, the protease was used to hydrolyze the beta chain of an insulin molecule. As there is more than one activity, we identified three activities here. As you can see, there's almost 14 different cuts of this beta chain of, insul of, of the insulin molecule compared to trypsin only with two cuts and chemotrypsin only with four cuts. The, pro the protease works in the gut is dietary put the break down larger protein molecules to small peptides and amino acids and they are absorbed in the small intestine. So in, by, by, by uh, breaking down them to small peptides, absorption is increased and then digestibility of the protein also increased as a reason, which results in higher nutrient uplift and then savings on feed cost. There is another added benefit that when we utilize most of the nitrogens uh, like protein and amino acids in the in the uh, foregut, the, in the small intestine, there's a let, less nutrients available in the hindgut for pathogenic bacteria to, to, uh, to reproduce. So there's a uh, decrease in pathogenic bacterial population. There are a lot of few studies in recent in recent times, and uh, resulting in better gut health and less nitrogenous waste. So the methods of the study. The location was, as I mentioned, uh, Bangladesh Agriculture University. They have a research station. Uh, it was in the research station. The research station. The duration of the trial was 28 days, and there were five treatments. Uh, treatment one was positive control, uh, which is standard diet. Treatment two was a negative control, reduced crude protein and amino acid diet. Treatment three was a positive control plus 125 uh, milligram protease added per kg of the diet. Treatment four was NC125 
B, where uh, 125 milligram of the protease was added to one kg of the negative control diet. Treatment five is NC 200 P, where 200 milligram of the protease was added to one kg of the negative control diet. There was there were a total of seven replicates with 18 chicks in each of the pens. Diet's experimental design. They're uh, mostly corn soy based diet, and as, as you can see in the negative control diet, soybean was reduced, whereas the corn was increased, and uh, in terms of amino acid, methionine, and threonine was adjusted to be uh, balanced in the diets. In terms of protein level, the standard diet, crude protein level was 22.3 in the standard diet, and the grower diet was 21%. In the negative control diet, crude protein was reduced from 22.3 to 21.8. And then in the uh, for standard diet and for grower diet, it was reduced from 21 to 20%. The parameters assessed were uh, body weight gain, feed intake, and feed compression ratio was were assessed weekly. Whereas at the end of the trial, uh, we conducted live weight gain, dressed weight, thigh, thigh weight, drumstick, and wing weight breast meat yield, heart, liver, gizzard, and shank weight. In terms of statistics, we did analysis of variance uh, where significant uh, statistical significant, statistical significant differences were assessed by two case B test, where significance was uh, considered when the P level was less than 0 0.05. Let us move to some results. There was no differences in feed intake, whereas uh, the, the, the feed intake uh, for the negative by the negative control diet, birds were a little bit higher than compared to the other treatments. Weight gain was significantly higher with the, in the protease supplemented diets compared to both positive control and negative control diet. We have seen highest weight gain was uh, with the negative control diet supplemented with, with 200 milligram per kg protease, uh, where it was 1768.3 in 28 days. Similar to the weight gain, feed conversion was also significantly lower compared to the uh, uh, compared to the negative control diet, as you can see here. And there was no difference uh, between the uh, positive control diet and the protease supplemented treatments. The carcass component yield, the thigh uh, yield was significantly higher with the of the uh, thigh yield of the birds fed. Uh, 200 ppm protease uh, diet compared to the uh, negative control diet. And there was no difference between the uh, 125 ppm SAS, uh, protease supplemented negative control and positive control diets. But negative control diet was significantly smaller thighs. In terms of breast meat yield was significantly higher for the positive control diet, but it was lower in the negative control diet uh, supplemented with 125 ppm protease. But there was a positive control diet and the positive control diet supplemented with 125 ppm protease and negative control diet supplemented with 200 ppm protease. There was no statistical differences. In terms of heart was uh, slightly larger, but only uh, the negative control diet supplemented with 200 ppm protease heart was significantly larger than both the positive control and the negative control diet. In terms of hepatosomatic index, hepatosomatic index was significantly smaller for, uh, for the protease supplemented diets compared to both positive control and negative control diets. Finally, we will touch the profitability of the protease supplementation, as you can see here, with the positive control diet, the profit was $639 per 3,000 bird. It was reduced to negative uh, $585 per 3,000 bird in the negative control diet. Uh, all three protease supplemented diet was higher than the uh, without than the diets uh, without any supplementation, and they stand for. 779, 786, and $848. As you can see, uh, when we supplement with supplemented protease on top of the positive control diet, there was a 
increased profit of 140 US dollar per 2000 bird. When we supplemented 125 PPM protease on the negative control diet, the profitability increased to 201 US dollar. And then we increased the protease level, the profitability further increased to 263 US dollar. In conclusion, we can say that multi-component alkaline protease supplementation, either on standard or a nutrient reduced boiler diets, improve overall production performance, provides better carcass yield, and in turn provides higher profitability for farmers. This is highly this study is highly important for small marginal poultry farmers in countries like Bangladesh, where a small increase in profitability can bring a lot of uh, well-being. Uh, improve the well-being of the of the rural households. With that, I would like to thank you to the audience. Thank thanks the audience uh, to listen to this presentation, and hopefully we can discuss further, uh, in, if needs be. Thank you.